Our scripture today comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 25 through 33. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body. What you will wear is not life more than food and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds in the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in the barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin, yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all of his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all of these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all of these things will be given to you. Thank you, God, for the inspiration of your word. Amen. Welcome to our Reflection on Sunday for November 22nd. My name is the Reverend Michael Drew Davis, and I'm going to tell you a secret. I am recording this on November the 5th because on November 22nd, I am going to be in beautiful Martinsville, Virginia with my mom and dad celebrating Thanksgiving. And what a blessing it is to, to, be, to be able to be in a place with my loving parents, with seeing family that I haven't seen in, in, in a couple of cases, almost 13 years, but in many cases only five. I think the last time I went home I was uh, about five years ago. So to be able to catch up with family and relationships and just be in that place of gratitude as we celebrate Thanksgiving. So today... If you just watch this video without doing the exercises, this is going to be a very short video. But I please do the exercises. I'm going to have some pausing points. And I want to make this video today a video of prayer and a prayer of thanks. As I'm at home with my mom and dad and my cousins and uh, able to just be able in, in a place of gratitude and on Thanksgiving having a very special focus on gratitude, I hope that I can make this all a prayer-filled act for you as we readdress some of the themes from the Sunday sermon. I want you to remember that anything that we do that is an active, love-filled response to the actions of Jesus Christ is a very beautiful thing. And instead of worrying about the things we don't have as we move into Thanksgiving, as we focus on the gifts and the blessings of the things that God has given us and we actively respond to those things, we can Sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. When we focus on things with that focus, we can have a heart of gratitude year-round. So here's the first thing. I want you to pray a prayer with me today on what God has blessed you with. All of these things will be God's blessings. The first will be 
the tools, the gifts that you have? What is that one special thing that God has placed into your life that you can use and go out and share with other people their importance in the kingdom of God? What tool do you have in your life, what fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, patience, and self-control, what gift do you have in your life that enables you to seek ye first the kingdom of God and God's righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Allelu, alleluia. I want you to take a moment to pray a prayer of thanks for that one gift that God has given you. That is your tool of happiness and your communication piece to introduce others to happiness. Please press pause and be in a moment of prayer. Welcome back. So we just prayed over the gift. Now let's pray over to how God is shaping us. Because that's a beautiful thing in our lives. As we seek ye first the kingdom of God, and God's righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Allelu, alleluia. Hopefully as we put that God focus, as we, as we talked about on Sunday, actively respond in the actions of justifying grace, being responsive to the things that Jesus Christ has done. Not trying to do them ourselves, but responding with hearts of love to what Jesus Christ has done. Hopefully we begin to find new things in ourselves. Hopefully that we in our current place can see the radical difference that grace has added to our lives. Hopefully, we can see through the actions of Jesus Christ how we've been cared for, how we've been transformed, how we have changed because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. Your next prayer is a prayer of gratitude for the ways that Christ continues to transform us as we move in what John Wesley proclaims as we move on towards perfection. We, we don't get there, but we move towards perfection. I'd like for you to take a moment of a prayer of gratitude saying, Thank you, God, for the ways you enable me to move on towards perfection. Welcome back. Now here's the last thing. And this is really the heart of this scripture. When we set aside the worrying of what we can't complete on our own, when we acknowledge that it's our call to be responsive to the movement of God in our lives, to be responsive to what already what Christ has already done, it's okay to be happy. It's okay to set our worries aside and walk in happiness and joy with Jesus Christ. It's okay to sing because I'm happy, to sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow. And I know God watches me. It's okay to sing in happiness. 
So I would like for you to take this last moment of prayer to pray over the places that you can be the sparrow in the story, that you can set your worries and concerns aside and let Jesus Christ have all of the strength. Please be in a place of prayer. We're back. So, if you didn't participate in the in the exercises, this was a very short journey for you today. But I pray that as this uh, video exists in the stratosphere forevermore, that you you take the opportunity to to stop to do the prayer exercises and truly give thanks with a thankful heart. Give thanks with a thankful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us, give thanks. I pray that you give thanks daily for what God has given you through grace, through the ways that you have been changed and transformed, and all the beautiful places that you can sing praises to God. Thank you for joining us in this prayer activity today. My name is the Reverend Michael Drew Davis. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. We'd like to have the opportunity to get to know you. Please email us at ncumcinfo at gmail.com. And if you've been enjoying our services online, please email us. Please say hello. Again, that's ncumcinfo at gmail.com. And also, if you'd like to give to our church, please go to northcoastumc.org and click on the Give button. Again, that's northcoastumc.org and click on the Give button. Thank you for joining us.